We present J Dragon 56 playing games in Dragon's Half Hour. Whoa, hello, you join me here. Oh, join me smashing my head into a wall. Not useful. Woohoo! I'm flying through the air. Although I want to pay a little more attention. Because this is Orion Dino Beatdown. And basically, that is it. That's what you do in this game. You beat down the dinos. Do you know what I got? Dino DNA! I'm Hasselberry! Congratulations for anybody who gets that reference. You watch some fan TV. Oh my god, we've got two T-Rexes and I've got no we've got three T-Rexes and I've got naught but a handgun. This is, I think, supposed to be hard mode, which <laughs> I probably will regret, but take out a couple of these raptors that are proving the bane of Lord Nafunu's. I find standing on a building tends to save your life. <laughs> but then again, the T-Rexes have decided they are quite capable. Fire in the hole! Yes, I'm trying to try my best to save this guy from a few raptors. But it's it's surprisingly difficult. Oh shit, shit. Fly! Da, 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 da. I think one of the best things about this game is definitely its soundtrack, because it's got quite a nice heroic sort of doom, 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 doom. I'm playing as a soldier, for anybody who for anybody who knows the game, you'll know what that means. Oh, whoa, I very, very, very nearly... I'm all over the ball, get out of the way of his jaws. Going elsewhere might be better. I would really, really, really... Oh, shit, I've run out of jetpack. Not good, not convenient, not convenient. Oh, no, no, not convenient. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he's throwing a rock at my face. In Dr. fact, he managed to... He managed to throw a rock at my face. Do I... I, I really don't have any credits. I have cre no credits to my... Well, I've got 907 credits, but that's not the point. I have no credits. Whoa! Fuck me! He's he's actually launching himself through the buildings. OMG! They're teleporting through. They're teleporting through the buildings. As I say, being on top of a building, I think. Apart from when dinosaurs throw shit at you. Double kill. Being uh, having the high ground, basically. It's a it's a fairly classic. Strategy, I think. Sprint, 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 sprint. Jet, 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 jet pack. Anyway, I was discussing. Oh! <laughs> Did you see? I don't know how close. Oh, oh, I'm stuck in a tree! I'm stuck in. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so extraordinarily dead. Da 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 da. I think my armor will potentially replenish, so I might want to consider getting the fuck out of here. Bloody sharpish. Although I may need... I may not... I may need to avoid pissing off a T-Rex with a handgun. That's one thing I may need. I think I need this other bunker area. Oh, let's get in the air. Let's get in the air, because frankly... Being in the air against... I got a kill assist somewhere online. That suggests... Suggests to me. Now, does this... Yes! Health and armor replenished, sir. Oh, I think I've pissed him off. I think I've pissed him off. Pissed him off sufficiently that he's coming through the roof. I'm assuming my bullets probably can't pass through the building. Which is... <laughs> quite the pity, really. Quite the pity. Oh, da, 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 let's see what a mischief I can get up to onto the roof. Being a soldier, I was going to explain this, being a soldier enables me to have the jetpack. The other two classes are a medic and a scout. The scout can turn invisible and the medic can obviously heal people. 
I've got your back. Well, alright, you've got your own back. Whoa, da 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 da. <laughs> but it, it's, fa it's a fairly simple game, but immensely fun. Let's try and shoot him in the head. That will really get his goat off. Oh, shoot him up the anus instead. Either one will do him damage. What is he doing? I don't know, but... He... Jetpack bouncing. I'm bouncing with the jetpack. Oh my god, Tess is <laughs> ring around the roses. Oh, fuck me. There's another T-Rex out there somewhere. 750 credits. I really, I think this building may feature it, but basically our goal is to protect that generator there from the dinosaurs. And we do that by surviving, basically. Oh, that's, is, that, is this the weapons depot? Yes, it is. Primary. Now, uh, where are you? Oh, secondary. Oh, shotguns are secondary, are they? I can't afford the shotgun. Oh, horse manure. I can't afford any... Oh. Balls! I could go with the submachine gun, but I might be better off just saving my credits for the sake of a imp an improved weapon. Do -do. So let's hope... Let's hope I get, don't get blindsided by something. Uh... Why am I charging at a T-Rex? What kind of insanity was that I was thinking? Da -da -do -da -do -do. I think the soldier is really the dominating class. Oh, good lord, good lord, I need to escape. My god, whoever's getting the uber kill is uh, apparently very, very good. Bring me some pizza. Oh! Oh, I got hit by a rock! Oh, what a testicle wank of immense annoyance. Wow, someone's got a enormous robot. Although, unfortunately, the, cam the camera angles when viewing other people are not the world's best. So I can't really see much to do with the armoured mech, apart from its backside. Uh, I can't remember how you... Sc can you... Oh, right. Oh no, that's interesting. I've managed to... S oh, someone's in the air as well in a bloody fancy vehicle. Apparently everybody but Tess and me went ahead and purchased themselves some fancy ass vehicles. Can he really repair his own vehicle? Apparently so, because he was at least trying it. I'm assuming he's a medic. It's a walker, but I wonder if it can transform somehow. Because it has got those enormous t uh, treads on the back. Anyway, so we've got to get 13 dinos. I don't know. Uh, that, that shouldn't technically take too long. Although the generators were destroyed, but back online. Oh, congratulations to whoever got them back. Double. Very well done. Uh, 10. Uh, I think I might as well stay in there. I'll chat and uh, rather enjoy this aerial guy. Look at those engine things. That's a, that's a fascinating design. It's, I'm assuming it's based on some kind of the... unless the circling of it is a glitch, but I, I was, I'm was i gonna go with it's not. Those circling things seem to be producing some kind of jet thrust, which is keeping it in the air. Then I'm assuming the rear one is supposed to produce a forward and back motion, allowing it full 360 degree manoeuvrability, but it's nice. And fairly, he's going to be fairly alright there because I haven't seen that many bird enemies at all. Right, I can now afford a proper fucking weapon, or I could potentially afford a vehicle. I'm going to go to the vehicle hub. Do, 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 do. Let's see what vehicles I can pick up. Probably none, knowing my luck. I mean, I could barely afford any weapons, let alone a fucking vehicle. Let's see. The Dragonfly Hoverbike. That's it. The VTOL. 12,000 credits. Wow. Props to the man who was able to afford 12,000 credits. Let's uh, do a strafing drive-by. In even though, oh, oh, this may not have been the brightest of ideas I've ever had. 
Uh, we're okay. We're okay ish. Ish. We're okay ish. Alright. Primary weapon! I st Are you fucking kidding me? I'll take the shotgun. Because the Double, shot. Triple kill. Ultra kill. Well, someone's doing vastly better than me. That Why doesn't that surprise me? Uh, the shotgun's quite effective against the raptors, but not a lot else. So I don't. I don't. Well, I've never tried, in fairness, but I, I'm not. I wouldn't be convinced of the notion that it's going to be any good whatsoever against the T Rex, but. Triple kill. Hey, you fill it with enough lead. Fill it with enough lead and you will fuck them up. Well, I really, I'm going to have to start paying attention to every single one of my sides, aren't I? Because they do like to send for... Oh, booyah! Flying kill! They're in the building! They've swarmed inside! Come on, come on. I'm not sure if I'm getting lag or not, but... I swear, sometimes you shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot, and it doesn't fucking register that you've actually shot anything. But no, I'm getting some kills, so racking up the credits. There's a dinosaur. He's really fucking. <laughs> he is slicing his way. Look at that towel. Look at that towel slashing its way through our building. Inconvenient. Let's, uh, I believe that replenishes my ammunition. Yes, it does. In fact, that yellow thing appears to just replenish everything. Let's get to the high ground, for it's the only way to beat down a T-Rex. Uh, I believe that's probably heading my way. <laughs> it's difficult to say, but dodge anyway. Keep, keep moving, keep moving. It's time to keep on moving. I really perhaps should use the shotgun, but I need to... At some point, I suppose I need to save up for a, a proper primary weapon. A proper, decent primary school. We all want to send our children to a proper, decent primary school. Yay! And only two remaining, and then with current round is round ten. We may actually have to move locations, because you do tend to have to move across the map. That's the, I suppose that's the other awesome thing about this game, is these maps are humongous. And you do, you can stay in one place, but I think you do get forced to move on by the game, you know, telling you this base has been depleted, move on and sod off. Now, is that, no, I think that's heading towards the VTOL. Oh, I suppose that's the another, unless the VTOL's dead, of course, I don't know. Whoa! Ah, there we go, I was right. Base has lost power. Move on to another. Now, I'm going to follow Tess. Are you going to let us in your vehicle? I somehow doubt it, Tess. I think we're going to have to get get ourselves a car. Would you, would you like to drive? You perhaps know where you're going. Yeah, I get the impression Mr. VTOL perhaps has just fucked off. Leaving us behind. Oh, well, I'm going to grab a car. I don't know which base we're heading towards. Uh, the, the cars are ever so... <laughs> Point proven. Do you want to get in my car? You get in my car, son. You get in my car. I don't know where we're going, though, mate. I don't know where we're going. Lord Nufai. 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 Apparently, nowhere to be seen, but... Hopefully, hopefully I can find my way, because frankly I don't know which, I've not certainly got no clue, he appears to be fr inside the map, which is an intriguing thought. Is he actually, like, st I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's he going on anymore. Oh well I've got Tess inside me and he looks to be the guy who survived the most rounds, certainly, certainly since I've been here he has. Uh, I'm going to, I'm heading towards D. I don't know if that's going to be better. Why? These cars seem to waggle at the front. It's kind of weird. See, I mean, I'm not... I'm genuinely... Hand is off of the mouse right now, and the car is waggling back and forth like a crazy man on crazy juice. I'm a crazy man on crazy juice. I'm a crazy man and got some crazy juice. But yes, you, you steer with the mouse. I'm heading towards C now, it would seem. I don't know where I'm going! 
just don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody and we'll be okay. The more you know is dangerous. The less you know is safe. Right, have we reached? C. It would seem potential. Although, I don't know if we want... Yes, Tess is starting up the generators, it would seem. I'm going to get in the back side of the vehicle and low the... Well, never mind. I didn't want to lay the smack down in the thing. At all. Tess, ready? I'm ready. Well, ready as I'm ever going to be. I'm in the back of a vehicle. I'm in the back of a vehicle. Generators back online. Dinos incoming. I don't quite understand. I don't know much of the backstory. I think I'll make it up to a certain degree. The humans who we play... We screwed up our own planet and thus went looking and searching for another. The only one we found was this planet. And do you know what we decided to do? Screw it up and defeat all of the wildlife by slaughtering every dinosaur so that we can move in! Because that's sort of what I think. General thought track is that's pretty much what we'll do as a human species, I think. If you watch enough sci-fi, that's kind of what humans are going to do. Just wander in, kill everything, and uh, get on with our lives. But there'll always be one, one rebel in the pack who will fight for the indigenous species. Wow, that was a long word for me. Whoa, I don't think I can speak for at least five minutes after... Oh! My vehicle exploded. I'm not all that happy about my vehicle exploding, because it means I'm dead. Oh well, I think, as we've seen, we're now seeing the 3D models. I quite like the design of the characters. Um, sort of that futuristic-y armour is, is, is rather nice. It's rather pleasant to look at, I think. That's, I think that's a medic. It's quite good. Medics start out with an extra weapon, I think. They start with a shotgun. Probably because the jetpack is almost... I think I think the jetpack is slightly dominant. The more manoeuvrable you are, the better off you are. Ultimately, I would suggest. Oh, I think Lord Nequai is dead as well. Shall I wait and do another round or... I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it, so I kind of want to, but... Nine dinosaurs is quite a substantial volume to kill for these guys, but... And when I when I re when I reload my life, I will end up sort of with I, I'll end up with my basic pistol back, and only my basic pistol. You lose all your weapons if you die, which is a it, it's a fair system, but a disappointing one when you've spent quite so much on your weapon. As soon as you start spending the big bucks on the big cannons. You suddenly realise, oh my god, I really can't die. I think that, if you saw that, it was a bit dodgy, because as I say, it's a bit shaky and the cameras are a bit dodgy on sort of watching people. But those birds, I think they're officially called rams? I might be mistaken. In, in the game, they're officially called rams. I mean, they look sort of pterodon, pteranodon, stylish, perhaps. Would you agree? Maybe you're a more expert dino fan, and thus could inform me of an alternate flying dinosaur. I'm sure there were plenty. Wow, he's doing quite well, isn't he? He is good at dodging Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Or is it Rex I? I don't know. How many Tyrannosaurus Rex can you fit inside of a bunker? Not many, actually, not many. Although they do seem to like sticking their heads through the bunkers just to find out what he's like. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, when the ram attacks, he lifts you into the air, as seen there. And I think you have to shoot the ram to get free. Although I, I'm... Every now and again, I'm not fully convinced of that fact. <laughs> it's like, really? No? Yes? No, I have shot him. No, I haven't. I'm shooting through him, but not at him. It's a little, it has got its pro fair share of problems, this game, but I think the enjoyment factor actually sort of 
negates a lot of the issues this game has. Uh, and, and of course, they do seem to be patching it and improving it all the time. Anyway, the jetpack comes in handy when you have to fight off a ram because you're in the middle of the sky and it's like, all right, I'm going to fall down and hurt myself if I do this. This, I believe, is the character upgrades. So I could upgrade my armor, which I'm going to. Now, I found out much to my much to my hardship. Do not choose a second one. You're not allowed two at once. You're only allowed the, you're only allowed the one, which is more again a bit of a shame. And I wish I'd known that before. Get back, foul dino bastard! Oh. Well, there we go. We've got first-hand experience. And... Blasted things, my... Oh! Well, obviously, as a medic and a scout, you're kind of screwed. 